Hey, it's Teddy So Hamilton, and this is my mind massage. The first item is this Florp. We got the Glow Putty, too. It's just for making, like, poo noises, you know? We all did this as a kid. I gotta get it really good. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's just for making like poo noises, you know? It smells like grapes or something. Macaroni in a pot, baby. Ooh. Poo noises, you know? That's that wop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, a small little town called Conyers, Rockdale County, Georgia, about 30 minutes east of Atlanta. Just all Georgia, man. We got the best of hip hop, the best of country music, the best of soul music. Everybody came from Georgia. It's uh, it's the perfect place for for life and music. I describe my music as uh, anything that you can make love or cry to. I think uh, there's the only two feelings worth having. Uh, you we're either making love or we're crying about losing it. And, or at least that's the only thing important to me. <laughs> I started making music when I was about 14. Um, I was in school and I got into musical theater. And me and my best pal Jess started making a bunch of metal songs. Rent is the best musical I've ever been a part of. Me and my best pal Jess, he played Mark and Roger. I was Roger in that show, and I, to this day, could still do every character in that show, I think. I could play the entire cast. I love that show. Okay, we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, because it's the only... We gotta skip past the first bread. Nobody likes the first or last bread. Toast first, of course. Um, I'm very excited to play some new tunes for my album for people. We get to do a meet and greet at every show with about 100 folks. And it's the funnest thing in the world because you get to meet all these sweet people and spend time with them and, you know, tell you stories about how you uh, have affected their lives or they got married to your songs and stuff. It's really sweet. It's really cool seeing the healing that you, you bring to people sometimes. I think it's uh, the most rewarding thing in the world. If I could switch lives with anyone for a day, man, that's a tough question. Probably Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think he's the coolest guy ever. <laughs> he's so big and strong and cool and, like, super. And so I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson for sure would be the only person I'd want to switch lives with. I'm scared he's going to jump. How do we stop it? Uh, uh. Yeah, it's toasted enough. That'll do. That's a great amount of toast. It's a little hot. Strawberry fruit spread in here. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it organic. <laughs> yeah. We got the organic fruit spread. Oh, that's going to sound great. I think it's the best sandwich in the world, this peanut butter and jelly sandwich is. I'm gonna do a little backwards because usually you wanna mix it up in a bowl first, you know, and get the perfect consistency. But I guess I didn't specify that I also needed a bowl, so. I think we're gonna go for a layer of Skippy and then go for another layer of jelly too. So we can really get the squish. So the consistency that we like. Oh God, yeah, that's so good. I feel my mind being massaged. <laughs> I hope you do too. Okay. All right, let's put this slap. Look at that clap, baby. Easy claps. Let's squeeze. Oh, I got. Sorry, hold on. I got to take my grill out. <laughs> it's 
sorry, you had to hear that. You suck the spit out of it too. Oh no. <laughs> If I could bring any album to the desert, I would probably bring Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. I think it's the best album ever. That or um, Phantoms by this band called Acceptance. Favorite band when I was a kid and the album still is awesome. Oh, the next one is uh, Mott's Apple Juice. Apple Juice boxes. I have one tattooed on my palm. I love these. I love that he's got this little little headband on, like he's like just got finished working out. <laughs> he's getting active today. Yeah, my uh, best friend, who used to be my pianist, he um, he he passed away um, like three years ago, and. I got his initials, Chris Dombijan Solomon, in there, and he kind of hated water, and he just wanted to drink just candy all the time, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so we just drank a lot of juice together, and um, I miss him every day, so this is my way of always feeling close to him and his kids. Yeah, to Kristoff, my best pal in the world. I have a new album. I've tried everything with therapy. Um, Part one. There's gonna be a part two of it eventually. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna be a good blessing for some people. And uh, ultimately, I've uh, been terrified of therapy my whole life. So uh, this album is kind of a promise I made to myself that once I release it, that I would uh, be in therapy and uh, try to. I don't know whatever therapy does for people. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but I hope it works. <laughs> It fixes me. <laughs> this song on my album is my favorite song. It's called um, Suitcase. It's really cool. I think it's very uh, honest me. And then there's this song called Some Things I'll Never Know. It's about uh, how people leave your life and you you don't uh, you don't get a lot of closure um, in relationships and uh, you never know why people do the things they do and. Um, so it's really been a big blessing for me. It's the first time I ever recorded anything where I, where I cried and cried. And, uh, oh, you know, I just hope it does something like that for you. This is uh, my album on cassette called I've Tried Everything With Therapy. I guess people still buy cassette tapes. Giant man child up here. <laughs> Please, someone help me. <laughs> We're going to be here for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, we put it on a little orange tape too, like, like an old Nickelodeon VHS. It's pretty cool. There's a cute little picture of me in here. It's been a it's been a it's been a hard road over the last four years trying to get an album out. My favorite memory probably is just uh all the long nights of tequila that I've had making this. I think I think the first uh the first like oh my god like I made it moment um two years ago or something, uh George Lopez followed me on Instagram. And that was pretty cool. I love the George Lopez show when I was growing up. So that was pretty cool. Uh, another time, I did a song with Megan Trainer called Bad For Me. Her husband, Daryl, invited me to his 30th birthday party. We watched uh, Spy Kids 2 together. And I called my mom and I was like, Mom, we just, I literally just watched Spy Kids with the Spy Kids. And it was the coolest thing that's probably ever happened to me. Because I made my mom take me to that movie to watch Spy Kids 2 like four times. We got pink, we got blue, we got purple. Let's get this shit going. Let's get a little clump out. Do something really cute. We're just gonna make a little, a little cute little snowman. <laughs> and yeah, there he is. <laughs> I think he looks pretty good. Yeah. If I could give advice to anyone um, 
this trying to be an artist or upcoming um i would say it's okay to suck and uh you're gonna suck a lot more than you're gonna be good you can't always write the good ones you know you can't always do the right thing and you can't always make the right choice but nobody's counting your failures except for you they only care about your successes so uh try not to compare yourself to other people my best self-love advice would probably be to uh Every day when I start my day, um, I used to just look at myself in the mirror like anyone and get dressed, but it never occurred to me that I hadn't look, literally looked myself in the eyes. Um, so I try every morning to look myself in the eyes and say, um, you got this and you're doing great and you're good looking and you don't suck and you're cool and you're not that fat and uh, everything, <laughs> you're okay. Um, you're beautiful, you know, I just try to look myself in the eyes and, and make sure I love myself before I uh, move out into the world for the day. Hey, I'm Teddy Swims. Uh, thanks for coming to my mind massage and uh, please make sure you check out my album. I've tried everything but therapy, part one.